All right, we'll be ready for that. Jill, we'll see you in just a few minutes as we follow the remnants of Tropical Storm Hillary right here in Utah. Crews are making plans to respond in case of severe weather impacts here. Emma Riley spoke with the American Red Cross and Rocky Mountain Power today. Emma, what are they doing to prepare for this? Well, the, Ameri the American Red Cross and Rocky Mountain P Power both tell me that they're monitoring the storm closely. The American Red Cross has volunteers ready on standby in case they need to open a shelter, and Rocky Mountain Power has crews ready to respond to power outages. As Tropical Storm Hillary makes its way through the state this week, it's possible southwest, central, and western Utah could experience flooding and power outages. Our teams are at the ready. We have many of them in Nevada right now. Uh, but ready to fan out and and further have shelter teams throughout the area um, if if the flooding is that significant. American Red Cross Regional CEO in Utah and Nevada Heidi Ruster says more than 200 Red Cross volunteers are on standby 24-7. They're ready to open shelters and respond to impacted areas. Their teams work with state and local emergency management to decide if opening a shelter is necessary. First thing is safety. Um, so, you know, getting a lot of messages out to the public in general, just about being prepared for potential floodwaters. It's also possible the severe weather could lead to power outages along the Wasatch Front. We're a little more concerned when wind gusts approach the 50 mile an hour uh, wind speed uh, and, uh, and of course, um, when thunderstorms come over, we're always concerned about microburst conditions and lightning. Rocky Mountain Power has their own staff of meteorologists and weather stations throughout their service areas. Severe weather can produce isolated outages uh, and customers should prepare for that. For more information on how to prepare an outage kit or prepare for flooding, you can visit our website, KUTV.com. Live in Salt Lake City, Emma Riley, KUTV 2 News.